Well, he's got a way with the saxophone. The saxophones and keyboards, Mr. Richie Kanata. Welcome, everybody, to my office here at uh, Cove City Sound Studios. And uh, this is uh, kind of week we're talking about little tips of being on the road and rules and regulations of being on the road. Since I've been on the road for a couple of years, maybe like 35 years, um, I could remember one of the first rules of the road when you were first in a band and you're traveling in, in cars and or rented uh, vehicles is to make sure that the driver that you are going to spend the next 10 hours with is a good driver. Because you don't want to jump into a car that a guy is a herky-jerky driver. It's going to make you sick, and you're going to have to stop. And if he's a lousy driver, so you always make sure that you're with the good driver. And I can remember a couple of stories in the beginning that with Billy, there was uh, two, three drivers, and there was one really good one. And it was time to jump in cars. We all jumped in one car and be like seven guys in one car, and the other two cars would be empty. So make sure you jump into the the car that has the good driver. Okay, moving to tip number two, which is uh, uh, pertaining to the Beach Boys. And the Beach Boys touring is based basically on a, a, a lot of playing, a lot of traveling, and a lot of food. The thing that I've learned about the Beach Boys and about touring is to calculate how much food you can eat in one day, especially if you're doing double shows like we did for many, many years. So the tip, the tip would be Remember not to overeat before any of the shows because it, it is terrible in between shows when you've got to regroup and reorganize your body to do the next show. So watch what you eat. Third and final tip of touring, it depends on who you tour with, which is the, the thing that you most want to pay attention to is this tip. This tip is from touring with uh, John Stamos uh, when I was part of the Rippers. And uh, the tip is with when you're working with a guy like John Stamos, you always want to be around him for the good pictures. You always want to be around him for the, the good reservations at the restaurants. You always want to be around him for the good room at the hotel. And you always want to be around him for all the good looking girls that are going to be around him. And you actually look way better when you hang out with John Stamos. So the tip is, if you're with a big celebrity on the road, stay close to him. 